Hey everyone, this is Jonas, uh, back with another Unreal Engine tutorial and this one is going to be a small uh, video about how to make a uh, namespace combined with a uh, firing animation um, so let's get started uh, To begin with, I uh, use 4.10.4 for this and I'm going to use this uh, normal third person um, that we've been using several times before so I'm just going to create a new one and uh, with that I'm going to do a few uh, things initially so things is going to go a little bit smoother for me just going to move this up to the uh, mannequin folder in my character blueprint and also take uh, my animation uh, third person animation BP and put that in the same folder I'm also going to get my uh, input keys so I don't get mad because I'm left-handed and keep pressing the wrong buttons okay so with that out of the way, uh, we're also going to be using some of the free animation starter pack uh, animations. So uh, go into the your library and add project and aim offset, add to project. And then you should get this anim starter pack folder. Okay. So um, we're going to be using switching out a few animations to begin with. So we're going to get the jog, um, jog animation. So jog forward uh, rifle, right click and say retarget and duplicate. Since we don't have uh, anything thing set up for retargeting, we uh, we don't uh, can't select anything here. But if we deselect this one and check the stand set, we can see the the same. So we can just get away with that. And if we tap in the walk. Uh, we have the um, the walk forward um, this one so do the same here and we also get gonna get the Eiffel idle rifle iron sight is this one and also bring that in so uh, we also need uh, the aim space so type in aim and let's get the aim space iron sights and retarget that as well. Right, so um, with that, uh, let's go into the um, animations folder and first of all, switch out the animations for, for this one. So delete this and delete this and delete this. And I like to switch these out with 600 because the default run speed for this guy is uh, 300. <clears throat> so jog forward rifle copy you want to drag in here and um, idle you want to drag in here and um, let's see I forgot something sorry apply parameter changes so drag it up here and this one is okay and then the walk forward is going to be here so uh, we can actually go ahead and test this out so right now he's going to walk uh, around like, like this and nothing is happening when we are changing pitch here so that's what we're going to look into next um, so inside the character folder where we put the animations here uh, we're going to get the, um, the aim space and duplicate that by pressing ctrl w and clicking it again and ctrl w again Oops. sometimes it doesn't work let's just hit duplicate Okay, so click the first one and call this uh, CC and open it up and we're going to take everything except the beginning so remove everything from one and the rest and set this to mesh space and set this to selected animation frame and select the CC so this is going to be the same so basically just referencing itself okay. So take the next one and call this underscore uh, center um, up, like CU. And we'll get about here while he's pointing upwards. So remove everything from before and everything from after. So we only have one key here. And select mesh space and animation frame. And I can use this as a reference. So the, this is going to use uh, this as a base pose. <coughs> Okay, so take the last one, last copy here, and call this center down. Open it up, and you want to scroll to the uh, place where he's pointing downwards. 
and out here and out here doesn't need to be exact but uh, anyway um, so again pick CC as a reference um, and hit save now we have the these three poses and now we just need to make this uh, aim space so under animation you want to pick aim offset 1d and make sure to pick the top one because this one is from the animation starter pack three animation starter pack and that's not the skeleton that you want so I like to pick this dis display uh, editor vertically uh, and then we want to call this the pitch so I'm in minus 90 and plus 90 and hit apply changes so these two are changes here so plug in the CC in the middle and the center down at the bottom and the center up at the top but right now no, it looks like this but uh, we need to set the preview base post so type in cc and hit ok so now he is aiming all right so in order to plug this in we will go to the animation uh, third person animation blueprint and inside the animation graph we have the default state machine here and uh, we want to uh, type in aim and select a new aim offset blend space that we just created and hook this up and this one now the pitch is going to come from uh, some variable that we're going to feed it uh, from the event graph so go to the event graph drag this out a little bit press s and left click to get this one and connect these up and now you want to get a reference to your uh, player character uh, so type in uh, get owning actor and type in um, cast to third person character okay so plug that one in and from this one you can get the, the control rotation and we are actually only interested in the, the pitch so let's split this one and from the pitch here we need to make sure that it stays in between minus 90 and 90 degrees so drag this out and clamp it now the clamp has a float and it has an angle you want to make sure to check uh, pick the clamp angle and type in minus 90 and 90. and um, then you want to drag this one out and promote to a variable and call this the pitch <coughs> Now we have that uh, fed in every tick of the animation, so we can plug that one in here. Okay, so we are ready to test if things are working. So, uh, as you can see now, he's aiming, and uh, when we jump, he's not aiming anymore, as you can see, but that's uh, something we'll look into. Uh, so, the next thing we want to add to this is that uh, so that uh, whenever you press your mouse button, uh, left mouse button, he's going to make a shooting um, movement. Um, inside the, the free animation starter pack you can find something called fire uh, fire rifle iron sights and you want to retarget that as well and get that so you have that in your folder now and we're going to use a montage for this so so right click this and say create a anim montage and that's going to create this one uh, this animation montage and um, it's going to play on the, a slot called a default slot so we're just going to be using this one but you might want to change this um, so inside your third person character go into this and make a right click and say a left mouse button and uh, you want to get a reference to our animation blueprint so type in um, anim instance for the mesh and cast this to uh, a third person in BP and whenever you click this we want to play a montage and the montage to play is going to be the fire this one okay um, so we just need to um, make sure that we also play this so to begin with let's plug it in, in, in uh, at the beginning here so right click and say slot uh, default slot and then uh, make sure connect these two 
and means that everything is going to uh, going to be played uh, from that slot is going to be played on here as well. So when we uh, right click right now or left click right now, nothing is happening. Um, sometimes happens, I believe, um, when uh, let's see the animation montage is not saved. So let's save everything. Uh, nothing is happening. Sorry. Um, so the animation here. This is the default slot. And uh, we are playing it. And press the left mouse button. Okay. Um, so from your rifle iron sights here, you have a blend in time a set to zero point something. And let's make them both zero. And uh, oops, uh, when we click now, you can see uh, that he's, uh, the animation is playing. Uh, the reason why nothing was happening is because the blend, uh, the animation itself is so short, so it's going to blend in and blend out uh, within that uh, very short uh, amount of time. Um, so, what we have now is a uh, shooting animation, both when we are pointing up and down, uh, and as you can see, uh, when he's jumping, um, he's going to switch in in here. So we want to add something extra to to make sure that. Um, also, when we shoot, the feet stay uh, like this. Uh, that's not really uh, optimal. All right. So that's not something we're going to take a look at now. So in uh, the third animation BP uh, inside the graph, uh, we want to add a, a blend per bone like this. And we need a copy of the default pose here. Um, actually, we can start off by dragging this one up and um, just plug that one in here. And the default pose is going to be, uh, or the default slot is going to go into the blend pose. And if we click this one and go to the de details down here, we can select a layer and click the plus sign and say spine. Zero one. That name comes from the skeleton, if you are in doubt. So this is this spine here. So it's going to blend everything from this one up, upwards. Okay. Uh, sorry, got something. Uh, forgot to connect this one up. All right. So now it looks like this, and it looks obviously pretty hilarious. Uh, so. But now we can run around and uh, and shoot, and he's going to play that animation on top of that, um, as you can see. So the next thing we're going to take a look at is how to make sure that he stays in uh, in the right uh, pose and don't uh, pop out of that. So um, this uh, is going to be. Um, Actually, the, the default slot takes a source, um, and uh, the source here is going to be the, um, the idle um, the idle rifle iron sights copy. So th this is going to be the source for the um, whatever is being played on on t on this one. So that means that when you jump, we can still shoot like this, and when we run, we also shoot. When we stand still, we are idling, and we can aim all the, all along. So we have everything blending now. And as you can see, there's a little um, jump in the animation, and that's because uh, some of the animations are not uh, retargeted co correctly with the uh, the root joint. So it's going to make a little uh, jump, but that's something that's going to be fixed in uh, four point eleven. So you don't want to really worry about that right now. Uh, okay, um, one thing we might want to add as the last thing to this video is um, uh, a way to um, aim <clears throat> or get a, get a steady aim. So this is just a quick and dirty way to do it really. Uh, it's not necessarily the best way or the preferred way. 
just a, a little something that you can do. So I'm just going to show it. So if you have a right click mouse button, um, right here, yeah, and you say you if every time you <clears throat> uh, want to hold, uh, you're holding down your right mouse button, you want to uh, fixate your aim. So one way you can do this is to um, say we have the animation stuff here. Um, I'll grab this, copy. <clears throat> I'm gonna make a copy as well down here. Just gonna do this really fast. You want to do this a uh, little neater when you do it yourself, um, like this. And whenever you uh, hold it down, you want to set a variable to so say uh, the animation speed to, uh, to a certain amount. So uh, let's call this the anim speed, animation speed. It's going to be a float. And from here, set speed. So when we hold it down, we're going to set it to zero. And when we release it, we're going to set it back to um, one. Okay. And if we go back in here and uh, make sure to compile and set the default value to one. Um, we can go into the play idle iron sights copy and say play rate as as play rate as pin and uh, select that. So you can drag in the, the node in here and then uh, play in. Uh, something is missing. Uh, forgot the target. Right. So if, as you can see now, it, he's idling, and if I hold down my, rouse, my right mouse button, he's gonna stay still, and I'm gonna release it. It's it's a bit hard to see, but I'm holding it down now. So now only his feet are actually moving, and if you want to fixate uh, the complete motion of him, you can do a little bit extra. Also, it's gonna completely um, nullify his movement. For example, it is not gonna work if he's, he's moving because then you need to take care of that as well. But uh, you could, for example, say um, <clears throat> um, inside the idle run here, we can also add this as a pin, as a play rate, and then plot this one in here, animation speed. So uh, if we look at him now, he's, he's having a slight movement and I hold down my right mouse button and it's going to completely freeze. And that's going to work even if he's standing here. So it's a, a way to pause the animation exactly where he is. So if you wanted to make some kind of uh, steady aim uh, functionality, that would work in this way. Uh, the only thing is that you, if you hold it down, as you can see here, and move around, he's not going to um, animate anymore. So that's something you, you would have to take into account either by holding uh, disabling his uh, movement or maybe just uh, ignoring this one and just leaving this as, as a one that's what I would prefer but that's not going to give a perfect steady aim anyway this is um, a few things I wanted to share with you guys and I uh, hope you enjoyed and see you next time bye bye